we have uttered the, this term restful in two of our previous slides so what does restful mean so before i explain what is restful let me tell you that o data is a rest inspired technology for reading writing and modifying information on the web not in sap on the web so that is uh, that that means that o data uses restful architecture so what is rest so the acronym for rest is r e from representational s is state and s is uh, t is transfer so it is representational state transfer that is r e s t so what is r e s t so it is an architectural style so 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 it is one of the styles um, just like rpc and soap is another um, style so this is a rest full is architecture style which uses simple and light mechanism for inter machine communication unlike rpc or soap which are action based rest is a resource based architecture and there are six guiding constraints which must be satisfied if an interface needs to be referred as restful so two of the constraints which we have already discussed that is the client server and stateless so i told you that um, our sap netweaver gateway is a client server architecture and the data transfer which is done through http protocol is in stateless form so they are stateless now what are the other um, remaining four constraints so is they are mentioned over here is called cacheable uniform interface layered system and code on demand which is optional what is cacheable uh, just like client server and stateless are two constraints similarly cacheable is the third constraint so what does that mean uh, say cacheable constraint requires that the data within a response to a request be implicitly or explicitly labeled as cacheable or non cacheable so i know this is a long term so what does that mean it means that if a server sends a response and it labels it as cacheable then the client can cache it and then they can use the response for later and subsequent requests but say the server does not or labels the response as non cacheable then the client cannot re reuse it so so there was a constraint on the server side that it has to be stateless means whatever request was sent in the earlier case should not be remembered by the server but client doesn't have that restriction client can remember what was response was sent earlier provided that servers gives them the permission server labels it that this response is cacheable you can keep it or save it for later use and say server sends another response which says non cacheable then client should not cache it client should not reuse it or client should not save it now coming to uniform interface so this is another constraint so you can break the word uniform and interface it means that the interface has to be uniform so basically it is applying the software engineering principle of generality so what does that mean it means say there are two developers working in two different interfaces but they both use the restful architecture then they both should be able to understand the high level design um, so how what is the advantage of that it is it simplifies the um, interface and it also makes um, it visible the interaction is visible so if if the interface has to be restful then it also has to follow this uniform interface constraint and rest architecture is again um, defined by four interface constraint and that is uh, identification of resources and manipul manipulation of resources through representations and the messages should be self descriptive and hypermedia should be the engine of application state so these are the four uh, constants for the interface to be uniform coming to the fifth constant that is the layered system so what does this mean it means that there can be multiple layers in the client uh, server architecture say the client is sending a response to um, application server 1 or the server 1 and server 1 in turn is connected through some some interface to server 2 so the client 1 should not or need not know that there is another layer which is after the uh, server 1 so so the layered system uh, style allows an architecture to be composed of hierarch hierarchical layers so there can be many hierarchy and they are they are constraining component behavior such that each component cannot see beyond the immediate layer with which they are interacting so what that does mean this means say that 
just like I said, if the client is talking to interface or application or the server one, and server one is talking to server two, the client should not know that there is a server two. It does not care whether server one is talking to server two or server one is talking to server three. As long as it receive, receives the response from server one, they are happy. So that is layered system. So layered system means you know our uh, interface in order to be restful they should allow layered systems finally the optional constraint which says code on demand that means that um, the clients should be allowed to write code on demand so rest allows clients functionality to be extended by downloading and executing code in the form of applets or scripts so this simplifies clients by reducing the number of feature required to be pre-implemented so, so this is just, just to make the life of the um, client developers easy this constraint has been put but this is not mandatory so if if uh, interface has to be restful then it has to it has to follow at least the five mandatory constraints so if any of this constraint is not followed then that architecture that interface is cannot be called restful